Good morning, Monday Math Stars. How are you doing? We're looking at finding some fractions today, looking at fractions, investigating fractions, and being able to find fractions of an amount, an amount of uh, objects or uh, an amount of uh, an amount of money, but fractions of those. We're going to warm up. We're going to do the I do bit where I get to talk. We do where we do some together. A you do section where you have to do some stuff and there's a challenge at the end. So let's get warmed up to begin with. Right here, we're going to find fractions of an amount. We're going to find a quarter of an amount. I'm going to set the uh, timer to three seconds and feel free, pause it as much as you wish. So there's our answers. You'll notice that it has a striking resemblance to a lot of your four times table. So when you count up in fours, the first question was, um, what's a quarter of 28? You'll find out that there is going to be counting up in fours. You get up to seven lots of four. And that's how you find the unit fraction of it. Okay, let's carry on to the I do bit, where I get to say a little uh, section. So, <clears throat> I've got an amount right here. We're finding fractions of an amount. And I'm going to see what is my fraction of this amount that is purple. Well, I can see one purple, and I can see two Skittles. One purple out of two Skittles. So I guess I can write that as a fraction and say I've got one purple out of two Skittles. Yeah, I've got a half of these are purple. What about if I add some more into it there? Now what fraction of these are purple? Well again, I've got one purple one out of one, two, three in total. So one third of them are purple. What about if I add some more? Let's add in another one. What fraction of these are purple? Again, I've got one out of one, two, three, four. So this time I must have a quarter of the sweets are purple. I can talk about this the other way around and say, well, a quarter of four is going to be one. Let's add a whole bunch more. Wow, I've got lots now. What fraction of these are purple? I can see one purple sweet out of a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So right now, out of all of these, there is one tenth that is purple. What fraction of these sweets are orange? Well, I guess if I get one, two, three, hmm, I can find three orange ones out of a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three tenths of these sweets are orange. If I ask it the other way around, what is three tenths of ten? Then our answer is going to be three. 
What fraction of these sweets are green? Have a go at that one yourself. Think about it now. Shout out your answers. Yes, good work. So I can see two green ones. Out of a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, as we know, so it's two tenths which are green. So let's have a look how we can use that for some of your questions. One chilies. We want to know what a quarter of eight is, what three quarters of eight is, a fifth of 25, four fifths of 25, but we haven't got sweets. We haven't got a whole load of sweets. <coughs> so we do what we always do. We divide by the bottom and then times by the top. So eight divided by four, I can fit in four, I can fit in two lots of them. So two, and then I times that by the top. Two times one is still going to be two. When I've got a non-unit fraction like three quarters, I still divide by the bottom. How many fours fit into eight? Two. Then I take my answer and I multiply it by the top. Three times two. Good luck with these ones here. Pause the screen so you can do those. And now it's on to your challenge. Is there any way that we could find out what six one hundredths of 500 would be. On to chili two. <coughs> so, chili two people, we need to know what two thirds of 30 pence is. Exactly the same procedure. Divide 30 pence by three and times whatever you get by two. Pause the screen so you can have a go at all of these ones. And now on to your challenge. Let's see if we can work out what 13% of 400 might be. That's a real challenge because we haven't really spoken about that very much. <clears throat> okay, three chili people. A little fact to remember. A quarter is the same as 0 0.25. One eighth is the same as 0 0.125. If you think about it, 0 0.125 is half of 0 0.25. That fact's going to really help you to solve some of these. It asks you things like, what is one quarter of 10 pounds? What is one, uh, 0 0.25 of 10 pounds? And if you remember the stuff from the top, that will help you. Pause the screen there so you can do those. And now let's move on to your challenge. 70% of one litre is how many millilitres? Think about what facts you really need to know here. You must know how many millilitres are in a litre. That's really going to help you. Good luck with that. And I'll see you again soon.